Good morning. It feels like Christmas. I should be listening to Christmas music, I think. Hi, George. I miss you. Hi, Meg. Maybe I will find a Christmas, a Christmas uh, YouTube to watch, because that would be fun. Right, so we're going to get started with the stitch along. It's day one. I'll try to go live um, every day around 10. A couple days I will do it a little bit later so that people who are in America, if they need to... Um, sorry, I had a knot. Um, if they want to like tune in and have a little chat as well, that way they can you know, get involved too. Um, so yeah, but I'll let you know when that is. So people in America can, can do it. So yeah, it'll mostly be 10 AM. Um, and we'll just do a little bit of it every day, just like we have in the past. For some of you, it's your very first one. Um, so don't worry, don't be nervous. We literally do a little bit at a time. So it should totally be manageable. What else? Maybe that's it. Yeah, so I'm just going to get started. <laughs> so we're going to do the outside of this banner first because all of the leaves go into the banner on either side. So it seemed like a good place to start. So unless you have a custom pattern, um, your banner should look like this and go straight across and have two little pieces. Some of them only have one, and I think maybe one of them had three. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started with that. It's a black thread, just regular black, and I'm using three strands. So I've taken... A long length split it in two so it's three and three and then I've threaded my needle and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the back stitch all the way around the whole thing yeah you can also I know um, on this one I've added some lines here in the middle you can do that if you want to and you don't have to if you don't want to so um, it's all up to you. And like I always say, like just try your best. It's not going to look exactly like mine, but mine's not going to look exactly like yours either. So they're all going to be a little bit different. Don't worry about your color choices. Really just try your best and have a good time. That's kind of the most important part. So let me zoom in. And I'm going to start right in the corner. With the back stitch, we're gonna to try to make all of our stitches the same length. So you don't want them to be too long or when you get to the curved parts, it will be very jaggy, like almost like geometrical, but you don't want them to be too small or you're gonna be here for freaking ages going in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, so let me show you. So I'm gonna start down here. And I'm going to try to get like four stitches in here, maybe only three. So for me, that's a good size. And for you, it might be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. It's up to you. We're also going to have the option later to whip this back stitch to make it look a little bit more smooth. Um, this will help, especially in these nice straight lines. If you go a little bit off, um, sometimes they can look like, oh my gosh, you've really done it weird. I have not. That's why I'm not doing anything. So sorry. It's not the good kind either that you can just pull one side and it be done. Annoying. So yeah, so 
So we'll do three here. The hoop I'm using right now is a seven inch hoop. Just the three. And really just try to make them the, the same, all the stitches the same length. And I'll show you, so this is just a regular back stitch. So you're always making kind of one stitch ahead and then going back. For the corners, I like to go back through the hole again so I don't have that black thread that cuts across on the corners. So it'll be nice and white there or whatever color your fabric is. So I'm always tempted for these really long pieces to make my stitches longer because there's more space and I don't have to make them so, so small. So make sure you keep yourself disciplined. Whatever stitch length you choose, keep going. So this is just the regular way to do the back stitch. I know that in the past I've done the thread saver method of the back stitch. And I'll do that um, in just a minute. So the regular back stitch, I'll just show again. You come up and you go back. And then you come up again ahead of your last stitch. And then you go back. <sighs> Things is like one of the first stitches that you should learn because it's very versatile. You can use it for literally almost anything. And it's the foundation for a lot of other stitches too, like brick stitch, where it's exactly the same except they're just offset and next to each other. So we're coming up to a curve and this is where even if you do have, so mine aren't so big, but I'm going to make them a little bit smaller just so I can get around that curve nice and smooth. You really don't want it, you want it to look fluid, like cursive handwriting. You don't want it to look really um, like a block print. What's with the commercials today? Let's back off, dude. I'm not gonna lie, the first time that I did the stitch along, I watched these same exact videos, never had a commercial ever. And now YouTube is like throwing it at me. And this right here is where I'm gonna go down and then back up again as well. If you want to add the little lines in between, um, you can do that now with the same method I just showed you. Just go straight down with some straight stitches. Um, you can also do it a, a different day after we've already finished most of the hoop. There's a details day later, so if you want to add any little things, you can do it then as well. Sometimes I like to see how it looks like, like when it's all done first and then decide what does it need? Does it need a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that? Or what is it?
Okay, now I'll show the thread saver backstitch method. So it's exactly the same, except every other one, you're gonna go back to the same hole that you just went through. So you start with just the same backstitch, like always, but instead of coming up here, you're gonna come back through the same hole that you started with. And it just makes it so that you don't use as much thread. Really? And I often do it that, do that, <laughs> um, when I'm running out of thread. Oh, relax. don't know what that is but Jesse is very concerned so for those of you who are new sometimes I'll have to go let Jesse out Jesse is my dog she's a husky mix with German Shepherd and Akita and a Basenji we got her little DNA thing last year and she's quite funny She's one of those dogs that's like, if she has to go out, she's not going to wait around. She's just going to keep nudging you forever and ever and ever. I've stitched off, sorry. Until you finally let her out. What are they doing outside? So there we go, we've gotten to the end. Just like before. It sounds like they're like doing some construction or something outside our house. It's not garbage day. So let me zoom out again. And that way you can kind of see the whole thing. So like I said at the beginning, I'm doing it this way because all of the leaves are going to kind of come into this so we want to get this done first so we know where the leaves will stop um when we start doing the leaves we will kind of jump around a little bit because i tend to do the same color and fill in all of that color if you know what i mean so we might do one here one here one here that type of thing um but don't be alarmed we'll make it up as we go As always, if you have any questions or anything, you can leave them there. Sometimes we do questions, sometimes we just chat, like favorite book or what are you reading or music or whatever. I might run out of thread before I get to the end.
but oh, I really hope I don't. I think I'll win. So I've always called this thread chicken. When you don't know if you're going to run out of thread or not. Thread chicken. I think I'll win. Because like who wants to cut another piece of thread for just like that much, you know? With Jesse's hair on there. See what I mean? That's like the fourth advertisement. I wonder if it's like something I just don't know about. Like, do they all have ads now or do you have to pay for no ads now or something? I don't really do much like YouTube watching normally. Like I know some people are like really into YouTube. Like they watch, they have like channels that they like watch all the time and but, like I upload my videos to it, but I don't really like sit around and watch myself, if that makes sense. So maybe it's just a, oh my God, I really hope this isn't gonna make it. How perfect is that? Oh my God. Okay, so we've just done that's as far as that as it goes. So we've just done the banner, the outside of the banner. Like I said, if you want to add these little lines, you can add the little lines. I'll show you again what it looks like. So like that, there. They might be nice, um, but I'm gonna wait until later to do it on mine so that um, we can see what it looks like without and with. And just really quickly, I'll show you the two ways that I normally um, will tie a knot on the back. So first, this is how a regular back stitch should look if you flip your hoop over. So it's the same, just a straight line. But on the back, you kind of, the, the line is even thicker because you're going back again. Whereas the thread saver method, you only go this much. So you can kind of tell where I've done a regular backstitch, a regular backstitch, and then the thread saver method on the back. So normally with the um, knots on the back, I know some people, they don't knot it. They just leave it and they do it all at the end. I know a couple of people who do it that way. They say it's quicker, but I did try and um, I can't do all of those knots at one time. So one way you can do it is to make a knot like this. And then I use my needle to push the knot all the way down. The other way that you can do it is take um, the threads and separate them and do it like a double knot. So like you're gonna tie your shoes, but just double knot it instead of making a bow. You can do it either way both ways are fine. And then I always snip it quite close to the knot so that you can't see those on the back. Yeah? So that's all we're doing today. Just this bit. I tried to keep these ones a little bit shorter because um, with Christmas coming, I know some people have a lot of things to do. Shopping for gifts, doing Thanksgiving if you're in America. Um, I know some people were a little bit worried that they didn't have enough time to do the stitch along. So I tried to keep it short and sweet every day. Um, so yeah, just an easy peasy little banner. So tag me in your stories if you post um, every day or every week, it's up to you. And I'll repost all of the ones that I can. How about that? So I hope you have a lovely day. And I will see you tomorrow for the next part. Yeah? I will say it's not too late to join. You can see this is all that we've done so far. 
So um, if you're on the fence about joining and thinking, mm, I don't know if I can do it, you can totally do it. Definitely join in. And yeah, I can't wait to see your hoops. All right, I will talk with you tomorrow. Bye.